So, with Yamato completely uh, done, in my opinion, it's done. Uh, the last thing we were waiting for is maybe some of the remaining ships that was uh, seen in the new episode. Not a new episode, excuse me, in the movie version of Yamato. Um, they showed off what I the Common Empire um, aircraft carrier. Which is a, an expensive kit. Hopefully, I'll get my hands on that one. The price is right. And then there's like a destroyer and a missile ship. Weather Bend, I will actually continue on making those type of ships in 1 1000 scale. And if there's still, you know, a market out there, or if people are still interested in it, it remains to be seen. I, for one, admit, uh, would like to get them too. There has not been no talk about a new Yamato series. Maybe they're keeping that in the wraps. Maybe we'll see something in 2000, at the end of 2015 going into 2016. Because we all remember uh, in the original uh, Yamato series, not in first season, in second season, when the Earth Federation got a little stronger and, re and you know, their planet Earth was already, you know, more... Um, you know, got their shit together, you could say. Uh, they began mass producing um, their own fleet, ba uh, ba bigger ships that we all remembered um, from the models. So I would like to see the next generation of warships that the Earth will offer. So that would be cool. Alright, so I'm going to begin separating these parts and then reviewing them and then we'll put them together. So the parts you see here makes up the hull of the um, of the battleship, of the, Mer of the Gamelis ba battleship, I'm going to call it. And there's some parts I removed and I started cleaning up. I'm focusing on the first page, which pretty much uh, covers the entire um, assembly of the hull. So you take these two parts here. And put them together like so. That was nice. It snaps in pretty nice. There we go. And we take this. And then the clear part. And I believe you need to put... There's, there's guides on these clear parts here. That goes in there. Which, of course, is the wrong one. You want this one. There we go. So it looks like that. We'll do the next one. Oop, this one here. Once that is there, then we t oh, before I we before I put them together, obviously, um, there is enough room in here to put an LED light. Um, if I was going to do it, which I'm not going to do it, one light source would probably be a three millimeter light source source that we'll put in there. The battery compartment is could be a 3 watt battery. Obviously if I put them on this it will stay there forever so once the battery is dead I won't be able to replace it unless I find a way, to, unless there's an, another way of me removing a part for me to expose the battery and then I can put it on. Who knows? But the, the component can be put in here um, if you need to funnel wiring obviously you can make a hole here using a Dremel, a Dremel, or cutting a piece here and here to go through there, or have something that goes through there. But let's put this together and see how it will, how, you know, if we can pretend if we can do this. So, I want to put this part here. And then there's this little stand, this little support stand, or um, some sort of guide that goes there. Okay, that this one actually is designed to hold 
the um, the plastic part so the LED light would have to go through this and you know maybe be here but considering that I think the light source has to be there it has to funnel that way and you close it up and there you go then we have the rear portion of the ship and it goes there And the other one goes here. You see? Alright, so that's all pretty much the overall length, maybe about a centimeter or two, it needs to be a little longer, but there it is. Now we flip it over. And I think you have to put this one first and then this one, but let me double check. I'm just going to lie this here. Oh, really is, okay, so this one goes first. And I had to sand down the edges because the edges had the little nub marks. The edges on the green part didn't have, I didn't have to worry about it. It's the underside of the part that I had to do. So I sanded those down. And we have this part that goes over here. pretty much locks it into place like so and we have this part Whoops. so like that and like that pretty good but hang on a second I'm seeing something that I think is going to annoy me using my sanding sponge now we put this on and this one goes here like that And then this one goes here. Thinking about this before I put this on, I can imagine if this can be removed, if this can be popped down, maybe a battery compartment can be placed here, wiring can be drilled all the way here, so that way if you need to replace the battery, maybe you can remove this part to expose the battery compartment. That's if anybody is planning to do what I'm thinking. You know, if they if they want to put lights on this kit, but it's big enough. It's roughly on my on my um, table on the on the ruler. It's pretty much thir 12 and three quarters of an inch in length. So there's a lot of room for you guys to play with. But overall, I like this. Uh, I like the ship. This, the ship is starting to come out pretty good. All right, let's continue on. So continuing on with the putting on the parts of the Gamelis battleship of the Gamelis warship set here are some of the few pieces that need to be put on on the underside of the ship and along the leading edges so we have this detail part here that can slide into here like so and this rear part here that's slide in like so I've already put the other side on so that completes that part and we have this, which one goes in here like so, and the other needs to go in here like so as well. I'm under the impression that I can remove these so I can paint it separate. Yeah, I know, we can. I can always paint it on it, but it'll be a lot easier for me to paint it and be more comfortable with that. Now this part here goes here which is actually the part that holds the um, the base stand. Don't know why you would need it because who's going to keep it like this all the time? Um, but we'll leave that alone for now. 
then um then we need this part it goes like that over here and then this part that goes in like so until it snaps into place make sure it goes all the way in Later on, I'm going to apply a little glue so it can stay, you know, stay put. Now, I uh, forgot that there was this part here. I'm going to slide this one in here. So it looks like that. See? 